everyone, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less. And today I am so excited to be sharing with you some quick tips on how to plan a girl's trip. So the first thing that you would need to decide is who's going and why. For me, this decision was very, very easy. I knew that it would be my best friend, Alicia and I. She and I have been friends since kindergarten, which is over 32 years. But you want to make sure that everybody is comfortable with everyone that you're inviting on the trip because you want the trip to be fun and relaxing and all of those great things. And no, most importantly, no drama. Um, Alicia and I, as I've stated, we've been great friends for a very long time. We've celebrated some very momentous occasions between the two of us, like the birth of her son. She has four beautiful sons that I love as my own. We've also celebrated some very high moments together, such as our wedding, my wedding day. She was right there by my side and some very low moments in my life, such as the time that I lost my mom. And so for her birthday, I really wanted to do something super, super special for her. She had never been on a plane before. So I decided that there was no better way to celebrate than with a girl's trip. Now that you decided who's going, the next thing you need to decide is where you want to go. And we went to... Okay, so we are on our first plane ride. Um, Alicia's first plane ride. We're getting ready to leave for Vegas. So this is our first leg of, of the flight. So, how are you feeling? This is my beer. <laughs> Don't be scared. It's going to be fun. We're going to have so much fun. I can't wait to bring you guys more. So, uh, yeah. Are you ready for takeoff? <laughs> we'll be back. Disable or destroy the lavatory smoke detector. <laughs> that was probably one of the most entertaining takeoffs of my life. But back to the video, my next tip is what is your budget? When planning a girl's trip, you want to make sure that you take everyone's budget into consideration. So one of the first things you want to do is kind of throw out a ballpark figure or ask your friends how much they're willing to spend on the girl's trip so that when you're choosing a location, you can be sure to stay within those budget constraints. You also want to give enough time for individuals that may have other financial obligations to allocate or reallocate the funds that are needed in order to take this girl's trip so you want to make sure that you plan far far in advance i also have a separate video which is what this clip is actually from on how to plan a luxurious vacation for less and i'll be sure to link that down in the description box below now that you have your budget in place, you can start looking at when will you go. And it was imperative for us to take our girls trip before the boys went back to school. And, you know, I know that if you travel during the, an off peak season, such as September, October, you get great deals. But I also found out that if you took a trip during the weekday, you can also get get really good deals so that's what we did we decided that we would take the trip in the middle of the week that way we were able to stay within our budget constraints as well as she was able to be home when her boys started back to school now that you know where when how and who the next thing that you need to do is get your wardrobe ready so the first thing we wanted to do was to slip into these comfy slippers from the Dollar Tree and relax. We overlooked all of the other hotels on the Strip. Absolutely beautiful view of all the sp other spots, especially at night. And these Dollar Tree slippers were so super comfy along with the robes that the hotel provided. I bedazzled them with some pieces from totallydazzled.com and we just had an amazing time. So for the remainder of our trip, our wardrobe theme was comfortable, cozy, cool, and classy. And before we took this trip, I went to a boutique, a local boutique, and I found these jumpsuits on clearance for $5. And it was an additional 50% off of the $5, making them $2.50 each. You guys, these jumpsuits were so comfy. And so we decided to do the high school throwback high school thing where we kind of matched and coordinated our outfits each day. So here are the Vegas shirts that we wore on the last day with some super 
super comfortable um, stretch jeans along with um, here's these outfits we wore one night she had on this super cute top and denim shorts and then I wore her off the shoulder denim ruffle dress that was super super cute on but on this particular night oh my goodness we were walking back to the hotel and there was a young guy who was also walking and we were looking at him because he looked like he was the same age as her oldest son and we were just staring and thinking the same thing but not really talking to each other about it and so he looked at us and he was like who let y'all out tonight y'all looking at me and I'm looking at y'all like what y'all doing out here I thought that was so funny we laughed like all the way back to the hotel because we were so embarrassed and we couldn't figure out if we just looked like super out of place, super young, or super Southern. So you guys let me know down in the comments below, like, do you think we look really young or did we look really out of place to be on the baby? Now that you have your who, what, when, and where in place, you'll need to decide who's gonna wing it and who will bring it. Because Alicia picks out like the most amazing snacks ever, um, she was on the snack committee and she bought all the snacks for us. These almond M&Ms were so delicious, you guys, but I absolutely hate the brown M&Ms. Like, I don't like brown M&Ms. They're so nasty. Alicia thought I was so crazy because she says that they all taste the same. So let me know down below. Do you think all M&Ms taste the same? And because I'm the super crafty and super cheap one, I bedazzled us some dollar flip-flops using bling from totallydazzled.com because I didn't want to pay $12.99 for the original ones. And so I blinged out the house shoes, as I mentioned before. I picked these up from the Dollar Tree and the flip-flops were from Rue 21. But just blinging them out made them look so elegant and I thought it was such a great um, favor for us to have matching flip-flops and shower shoes for the hotel room. When it came to our itinerary, we decided to semi-wing it. And the reason I say semi-wing it, we wanted a very loose type itinerary, but we did want to enjoy the area and the scenery. So we didn't have like a full schedule planned out, but we did allow time for, let's say a concert. If you're going to a show or a concert while you're in Vegas, you wanna make sure you block that time out. You don't wanna be late or miss your trip. We had a fabulous time. We also tried out a lot of great restaurants. We tried out Mastro's Ocean 11, one of my family favorites. Um, Alicia absolutely loved it. And then we also, went to the flaming fajita oh my gosh this restaurant was so amazing they had so many dips and so many different types of food um yeah we had like a fabulous time eating and we just really 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 enjoyed ourselves um, at this particular restaurant so yes our itinerary was very 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 loosely planned we did have some things that were structured but again the most important thing for us was to have fun and enjoy our friendship and my final tip is to make Insta-worthy memories. And when I say Insta-worthy, I'm not talking about Instagram or Facebook, but I'm talking about those memories that you can recall in an instant. This trip was so well needed for me. I really needed a latitude adjustment and it did just that. I am so blessed and I am so fortunate to have someone like this that I can call my friend. A friend is someone who gives you the freedom to fly and to totally be yourself without judging you even when you fall. Thank you so much for my wings, Alicia. And thank you for being my forever friend. Wills up.